so welcome to my first official part of how to solve a Rubik's Cube. In my last video, it was just an introduction, so I hope you found out how to make a cross, or at least uh, kind of intuitively figured it out. So I'm just going to actually get to the cross right now. Sorry, the cross is a bit hard to teach, and it's pretty easy to figure out. So I just decided to let you guys figure it out so it's not completely algorithms and all that stuff. So anyway, I have my cross done now. And the first step is, uh, as you saw in the last video, is to get the first layer completed, which looks like this. White's done, and you have T's for each side. So the way you want to do it, you probably might be wondering to yourself, I just have my cross, how do I get that? Well, there are really three simple, what, cases. The first case is white is facing you. So when the white's facing you, make sure you always keep it over its correct position. So this is a white, green, red. Keep it under its white, green, red section. This piece needs to go there. So you've got to keep it down here on the bottom. So the way you do that, if the white's facing you, is bottom this way, right down, bottom back, right up. And that's how you get one of the first pieces. That's just one of the three scenarios. So the second scenario is this, white's facing to the right. And same thing, you want to keep it under its correct position. This is a white, red, blue. Keep it under its white, red, blue section, which needs to go there. So keep it on the bottom. Moving on, this piece is the white's facing to the right under its correct position. So when it is, you simply rotate your cube, move the bottom this way, bring the left side down, move the bottom back, and bring the left side back up. And as you can see, that put this piece from down here to up there and also you can see there is a T. Moving on, the final case is when white is facing down. So same thing, it's underneath its correct position. This is a white, orange, blue. Keep it under its white, orange, blue Cent uh, place. This piece needs to go there, so keep it on the bottom. Moving on, White's facing down. The way you solve it is keep it under its correct position and then you solve it. So right goes down, bottom goes twice, right goes up, and then you move the bottom back. And as you can see, that just sets you up for the case where the white is facing the right, and then you can solve it from there. So bring the right down, bottom back, right up. So those are the three scenarios. Um, but there are some things. Those are the three basic ones. There are different uh, cases that you sometimes need to figure out, such as this piece. This piece is up in its over, uh, sorry, in its correct position, but it needs to be flipped. So the way to do that is uh, you want to bring it to the bottom. It's always the easiest to solve your pieces on the bottom. So bring it to the bottom. So the way to take any piece to the bottom is bring this down, move this away, bring it up, move the bottom back. And that's uh, the ways to get the piece from here to down here. So that's the way to just move it around. So once it's down here, you decide which case it is. White's facing right and bring it down, move the bottom back and bring the right up. So that's how to get the first layer. Um, it's not really too descriptive, but it, you get a basic idea that once you're done with cross, then you look for your first piece. And the crucial thing is to make sure it's over its correct position, because if it's not over its correct position, see this is a white, green, red, and if it was under the white, orange, green position, and you decide to insert it there, you would not get any 
sort of tea. So that's the big, big thing about keeping it under its correct position. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough solve from here. So hopefully you can get a basic idea of what it looks like. So cross is completed and let's do the first piece. So once I'm done with cross, I immediately see this white, green, red. So what I want to do is put it under its white, green, red position. So what I do is match the bottom to where it needs to go. Right there. Now the white is facing to the right. So what I could determine is that you solve it by rotating the cube, moving the bottom, bring the left side down, move the bottom back, and bring the right layer back up. So that's uh, the first of the four first layer pieces. So the next one is this piece, the white, red, blue. And I could already see that's underneath its white, red, blue position. So it would need to go up there and it's down here. So that's good. So the white's facing you and you simply solve it by moving the bottom this way, right down, bottom back, right up. And that's the way I solve it. So moving on, I see this white, orange, blue piece. So I'm going to put it underneath its correct position right here and solve it from there. So right that. And the last one, it's up here. Now remember how I said you want to keep it on the bottom. So I would simply just do the uh, algorithm that swaps these two with each other. So what I would do is like this. Now it's on here. White's facing down, and I could determine that it's a bring the right layer down, one, two, right layer up, one. And once it's like that, you just solve it from there, and that's how you get your first layer solved. Now, in my next video, I will be going over how to solve this middle layer, but hopefully you can figure out how to get the white done. And thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on my next one.